Hi guys, and welcome to this clip where I want to talk about how I did the mixes in the mix series that's ranging from 1980 up to the year 2000. Here is a glimpse of my studio and you can see the software Traktor from Native Instruments and the controller I used. First of all, you need to uh, dig among your records and uh, here is some nice bits that's, uh, yeah, that's been used in this mix. And all those vinyl records is ripped by myself into my computer. And there's another video on my channel if you want to see how I actually rip in my records, the technique I'm using. Altogether, I used over 500 songs from the 80s alone on those 10 mixes. And these mixes over the 80s has now been streamed over half a million times on YouTube alone. That's pretty insane and I'm very happy that people really seem to like them. What you can see here is a mix down of one of the mixes what I used on the master channel was a little bit of compressor and a multiband compressor and a limiter and I think basically that's it. That is what I used to glue the stuff together a bit more and to also get the feeling of a tape compression. And here you can see a collection of my old tapes that I used to record all my songs on back in the days. I actually didn't have so much money when I was younger so I recorded a lot of music on tape. And the sound on the tape is very special. And for all of those who is new to me and my mixes, you find them all on Mixcloud as well, on this profile. And it's very easy to just log in and uh, make an account if you don't have any. Very, very easy. Okay, but now let's talk about the mix itself, how they were done. <laughs> Okay, so when I did this mix, I used Traktor, the software that you can see in the very beginning, as just a player with a pitch opportunity. So you can select the right pitch on every song, and then just simply record them into Logic one by one. And as you can see here on the left side, you can see audio streams, four of them. The one underneath comes first, and then is some insert uh, just above that. And on top, there's the new track coming in. And that's how I did it, basically. Recorded one song, took the next one, did an overdub on another channel, and then I can move parts around. And as you can see on the top track there, you see a lot of cuts where it's cut up in small pieces. And that is because the songs from the 80s didn't match in tempo, so I manually adjust every single beat sometimes uh, on a track. And uh, yeah, that's that's a lot of work, but that needs to be done if, if you want to get the mix all together in, in a perfect uh, beat matching style. Here is a close look at the compressor used, the master compressor, and there's the limiter as well, and some VU meters to look at the levels. And there's the uh, tape emulation plugin that I used. And it's also another way of gluing stuff together. For all of us that recorded on cassette tapes back in the days, yeah, there's, there's something special with the tape compression that it's hard to put the fingers on, but it really does something nice to the sound when you're listening to it. <laughs> Today there is tons of different plugins you can use for simulation stuff. Also this vinyl simulation stuff. I didn't use that one on this mix. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you that. And if you have all digital recordings, you can get the sound a little bit more vinyl-ish, if you know what I mean. So let's look into a certain part of this mix. 
and we talk about what's really been going on here. The track you see here is Clash and uh, that's the musical part here. And on top of that, you see an acapella from the track that is coming in. And uh, yeah, there is some cuts in it because it doesn't match the tempo perfectly. So you need to adjust, as I talked about before, a couple of times. So let's see how it sounds all together. And basically that's how all the mixes are done. Very manually, took about two weeks to put them together. And right here I can show you a little trick that I used on the situation part. To have that part separate means a lot for the track itself. So I just put that on the other version on top. As you can hear on the original American remix version of Yasuo's Situation, that synth line is not there from the beginning. So I took that from the original single version and just added that on top to introduce the track in a better way. Okay, so that's basically how all the mixes are done. Recorded track by track from Traktor into Logic. And when in Logic, I can cut and paste and move around parts in the way I want and put them together in the best possible way. And in the end, put a little bit of a mastering chain to get everything to sound together. Okay, that's it. If you like what you see, please subscribe to this channel and I will give you more clips from my studio and more mixes to come. Thanks for watching.